Here's the Armenian Armand Sarukyan, a lightweight that many believe will one day be wearing UFC gold around his waist. The winning streak is in tow, and the strength of schedule has just been fantastic, really dating to the Islam Akashev fight back in 2019. At times, perhaps Sarukyan has been a victim of expectation, but largely he has lived up to what was some appreciable hype when he signed with the UFC back in 2019. He has inched his way towards contention. He's a guy that some have called the boogeyman of lightweight division, a guy that a lot of people don't want to fight. Eventually, you gotta fight him. We'll see if he can rise to the occasion here tonight. So here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title. tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Armin Ahakalakis Tarukian. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Lightweight champion of the world, Ilya El Matador Herbert Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Big knee there. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stricken four, five, six below. What a great job. Frantic pace early on to this one. Oh, nice jab to the head by Ilya Topuria. Landing. Oh, look at that leg kick. 
Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Oh, that didn't take long. A good takedown for him early, and we'll see how much danger he can now pose to his opponent on the mat. He will. Now he's in his world. Now you will start to see him get loose, be a little more free in his approach to trying to finish his fight. Topuria's pass attempt denied. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, great reversal to top position by Sawuki. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Topuri is in half goal. Under two minutes now to go. Oh! Reverses the position there. Nice transition by Ilya Topuria. And there you go. Again, half guard. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Salakian is right back to the full mount here. Nice positional control here. Lands a big elbow there. In the half guard. Sarukyan, grounded pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Beautiful transition. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Now he's going full mount. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Topuria's in half guard now. All right, has the guard closed here. Sauron is back in full mount. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, you're starting to land from the top position. Good work from the top here by Sawukyan. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Final seconds here of round one. Round two straight ahead. All right, take a seat. Breathe and relax. I need you to suck it up this round, okay? You're missing those takedowns because you're not setting them up. You're going to get countered if you do not. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Sarukyan gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, nice jab. Nice left punch by Scott. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice 
nice job by him defensively there. Sarugana's eye is closing up. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Collar tie here on the clinch. Just misses with the straight right. Topuria's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Outstanding kick there by Topuria. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. That one appeared to stun him. starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Nice combination by the That pressure, man. That pressure's intense. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of that. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight. Topuria's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Oh, 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 oh. Back. back to the feet. Oh, single collar tie here. Half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, Topoli has got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, my goodness. He might have it. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swell. Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. This is a terrible position. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. seconds. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Sarukyan. Topuri is really bleeding heavily. 13 steps in! Oh my God! Take a bow, young man. So how about that? What a moment for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by this young fighter. All right, here one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Armin Ahalkalakas Tarukian! Well, tears of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of time until I get the belt wrapped around my waist tonight. He got that done. Look at him celebrate with his corner. Those guys all believe, and he got the job done.